this is a, <coughs> a truss connection and what you have is you have a cassette plate and on this plate you have the four different members this member here with the force as 8 kilo newton and you have uh, another member here with the tension T then you have another member here with the force F then you have another member here with force 5 kilo newton so first thing we are going to do is we will draw free body diagram and let's say if you choose the axis X and Y then <coughs> we could draw the force on this member and that's going to be 8 kilo newton then we draw the second member <coughs> and the force here is T <coughs> then we draw another member and the force in that direction is F as 12 kilo newton then we got another force here we call this as this is 5 kilo newton and it's acting at 45 degrees so <coughs> that's the free body diagram <coughs> for that problem where you omit the details of the actual structure you're not drawing the cassette plate uh, drawing any of these members what you're really drawing is the forces which are acting in this point of O. Now the question here is to find the magnitude T and angle theta. Uh, basically you are really looking for the force here you need this magnitude you need this direction let me call this force as FA and we are going to call this force here as FC and we are going to call this force here as FD so if we know that this whole system is in equilibrium then you have force FA then you have the force due to tension which is T then you have the force FC then you have the force FD they should all add up to the resultant force and if the, as I said if the whole thing was in equilibrium this should add up to zero so <coughs> all those four forces they should add up to zero and in this thing we know we should know FA we know this we know this the only thing unknown is the T so we should be able to find that force so <coughs> let's say if I write FA in form of vectors you have the 8 that's the x component this multiplied by i there is no j component then we look at the force which is t from this point I could drop a perpendicular on x axis then that's going to be the x component that's going to be y component this angle is theta magnitude is unknown and that's t so your force t will be t cosine theta with a negative magnitude times i plus negative t sine theta and the multiplied by j then we have let's say FC this one here this has a zero component for X going up so another one is 12 T 
times j. Then we got the last one which is f of t and <coughs> this angle is 45, this angle will be same as 45, so drop a perpendicular that's your x component <coughs> and that's your y component. So <coughs> we get the x component as 5 cosine 45 times of i and then you have 5 sine 45 times the j except it's going in the negative y you place negative sign then <coughs> you're going to add all of this that's the resultant you're going to add all of this and that gives you 8 minus t cosine theta <coughs> plus 5 cosine 45 the whole thing is multiplied by i plus you get minus t sine theta then you have a 12 then you have minus 5 sine 45 times the uh, and this should add up to zero. So that thing goes to zero because of equilibrium then this whole part should be zero by itself and this whole part should be zero by itself. And so you have 8 minus t cosine theta plus 5 cosine 45 and that should be zero. Then you have negative t sine theta plus 12 minus 5 sine 45. That should be zero. So <coughs> your first equation here is the same thing as sum of forces in the x direction go to zero. So when you took all the x components, you added them together and that should be the force equation. Second equation will be sum of the forces in y direction and they all add up to zero. So in general when you're working on the problem you don't really go through this step. What you do is you directly write this equation by looking at the components and you write directly the second equation by looking at the components. So you can skip all this vector part and you can go directly from this figure to these set equations. Now once you have this, then it's easy to solve for t. You have t cosine theta as 8 plus 5 cosine 45. You have t sine theta, that will be 12 minus 5 sine 45. You can divide the equations and that will <coughs> give you the angle theta as 36.3 degrees and once you have the angle you make a substitution of one of these equations you get T as 14.3 kN. Okay, we're going to look at another